we do research into um, in this area that is called computational biology and more specifically what we are doing is something that I refer to as executable biology where we try to create these executable programs like computer programs but we're trying to create computer programs that mimic aspects of biological behaviors and specifically my group is focused, my work and my students are focusing on developmental processes and processes that are taking place in, in tumor development and in cancer. I think it's one of the very few um, professions where, where there's no such thing as routine. Every day something is, is new. The other fascinating side is the fact that once you have a new discovery, this is really a meaningful thing in the sense that it really makes a difference either in, in, in people's life or in, in terms of drug targets or uh, therapeutics for certain diseases. So this is the kind of science that really allows you to make a difference in the world. So I started by studying biology for my bachelor degree and then I did uh, a master's in biophysics and physiology and then I continued to a PhD in neuroimmunology and then I did a shift to computational biology in my postdoc and I did um, a four years of postdoc in computer science working very closely with uh, in very strong people in formal methods and I try to somehow bridge this gap that I have because I don't have any formal education in computer science. But the transition was, was very natural to me because for me as a biologist, as an experimental biologist, it was just like learning another technique and another method. The first thing would be determination and the second thing would be persistence. And the third thing would be trusting your instincts. We, we came up with some theory that came out of the modeling work that we did of a certain process about how cells make decisions uh, about their fate. And it took us five more years to prove the exact molecular mechanism that explained that behavior. Now we're exactly at that time point where everything becomes this comprehensive story and we have a theory and we have the evidence and we have a, a molecular mechanism that explains the theory. And this is really exciting because it really changes, I would even say completely revolutionized the way we, we thought about a certain a, a behavior. This particular finding opens up a, a whole spectrum for for not just uh, the way we look on this process, but also for potential therapies, because we're doing this uh, in, in cancer research. So it's really, the implications are really uh, far reaching. And, and yeah, this, this is really what makes me excited these days. I wanted to be an actress. But this, that was when I was really, really young. And then when I grew up in my, around when I was about 16, I, I kind of realized that I wanted to become a scientist. I always like to do my own, uh, to do things my own way and take my own track and make my own mistakes. And I truly believe that this is the right way to learn. My main advice would be to decide on, on your goals, decide on your, your, your path, and to uh, aim high, as high as you can, and just go for it. That's what I would recommend.